Hello everybody on YouTube, uh, Brandon Parker back here with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a tutorial in uh, uh, Apple Final Cut. I'm going to show you how to do some changing speed, reversing clips, and just a little bit of uh, editing tricks and tips and whatever. I'm going to show you just a little bit of a video that I'm working on just for my pan video channel which is Fantastic Art. And I'm just messing around, just making a video. Uh, it's probably don't know what I'm going to do with this video. Just messing around, playing around in here. I decided to make it into a tutorial, showing you how to change speed and everything, and show you a little bit of effects. So what I'm going to do is show, get this clip, show you how to reverse it. And then at the end of this clip, what I'm going to do is not this clip, but there's a good, better clip to show the reverse effect a lot better. Like right in here, I'm going to get let's see. Right in here, I'm going to let's see, get this one. Okay, copy this. Okay, get this clip right here, and I'm going to go right in here. Okay, and I'm going to go find the spot where it starts really good. Right about here, okay. Okay, what I did is, mostly what I did on this clip so far is the way it looks is I uh, went to filters, okay, and uh, I just added, a, let's see, double click on this, go to filters, and I just added a color corrector, and a color fill, widescreen, and that's pretty much what I have for effects going on in here, and uh, well, the color fill one, it's a FX Factory Pro plugin, so you, not a lot of people have this plugin. What you're gonna have to do is go to the FX Factory Pro, and I'll put a description to go to their website. You can check them out, and not all. I don't think I think there's some that you can get for free and try out. If there's a trial version, you can play with them and stuff. And but it's not a free uh, plugin set. And it comes with like a lot of plugins, and I know that it comes with like 300 and uh, something and I have a pretty good amount of their plugins it's pretty nice and I have a lot of them and you can do different stuff with them and and like and that's pretty much what I have going so far and I'm going to show you how to reverse this clip right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to make sure, go to modify I'm going to go to change speed okay but first what I'm going to do is or reverse the clip or fast to reverse it see you go to change speed okay and what you do is, let's see, um, and then right here there's a little selection bar. This is for Final Cut Pro, and the layout is a little different than uh, Final Cut Express, but in Final Cut Express, right in here, when it pops up, it is pretty much similar, except just a tad bit different, but it, it'll have a, a, a checkbox for reverse, so all you do is click on reverse, make sure that's checked. Go to OK, and then it'll reverse the clip, and you keep stretching it out of here, and he'll start going backwards now. Frames, right? But we'll start going backwards, okay? And then you're gonna wanna get your clip, okay? Take what you want from it, like right about there. No, command C. This so that I can get back to the where I'm editing all the way up down in here. Okay. And I'll paste this right here. And what I'll do is go back, go back, back to right there. Okay. Add my transition. Okay. Right here. Okay. It's kind of like a flashback effect, like he's going backwards in time. I'm going like this. Go back to here. Go like this, boom, boom, wind it again, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the speed, okay, and I'm going to double click on this, go to, go to modify, go to change speed, okay, and what I'm going to do is, let's see, change the speed, rate, let's go to rate, this is Final Cut Pro, it would be like, let's see, I'd change it to like 50%, and in Final Cut Express, like I said, it's a tad bit different, but uh, it'll it'll say like 
the speed. You, you just change the percentage of the speed. If you want it to be at 50%, 70%, you just play around with that. And it's pretty much simple to do changing the speed in here. You just tell it to how much percent you want. You can change the duration, time, and everything. But I really don't really mess with the duration or whatever. I just uh, mess around when I'm dragging it. Because right in here, you, you don't know exactly what spot you want until you're actually inside the clip messing around with it on the timeline. So changed it a little bit. I slowed it down. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is... Okay. So I had to transition again. Go back to here. All right. Go down, 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 all the way to right there. Okay. Okay, and uh, split the clip. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you how to motion blur. And I'm going to go to right here, double click on this. Okay. Go to motion. And I'm going to, right in here, in, in motion, you could uh, do a motion blur. You just click on it. Okay. You can add how much motion blur you want. What I usually do in a lot of my videos that I add motion blur is I'll do like and change the number of the samples. I'll change them to always do it to like 32 so you can get a smoother uh, motion blur. And then a lot of times I will just play around with the how much I want the motion blur. I usually sometimes I'll leave it at 500% because it's a good number and all I do is just change the samples to 32. And so you just play around with the numbers to see what kind of effect you want. And I'll just leave that as that. And then I'll show you what I have here. I'll render this. Because uh, when you see this red line up in here, that means to render. And you, you usually do like 5 seconds each. Because if you do like uh, longer than 5 seconds, then uh, it'll probably take a lot longer to render your videos and uh, your video clips. And then it'll to view what you did with the effects and everything. So I'm going to go to sequence. And I'm going to go to render all. And I'm going to go to both. And, and usually, or if you if you have a, a like a lot of clips and the whole thing is uh, is all red, say like you have a minute or so, or 50 seconds or whatever, and all of it is red, what you do is like do sections of it. And I've told you that in a few of my other tutorials that I've done in Final Cut, uh, that you just render them in, in sections at least five seconds each, so that it'll render a lot faster. Because if you do the whole thing, if it's all red, like all 50 seconds that was all red then it'll take like a good like 30 minutes or 40 minutes or whatever so do it in sections and it shouldn't take that long it shouldn't take any longer than like I say like five or at least three or two minutes depending on how much effects that you have on there like me right now I have probably added a pretty good amount of motion blur or whatever and then amount of effects right in here a little bit with the changing in the speed and everything so it might take a little bit of a, bit of a while to uh, render this out. So uh, I'm going to pause the video and uh, come back when it's all done rendering. Okay, now that the uh, that I got the clips that I was editing and I got them rendered, now I'm going to show you what it looks like all the way up to here. So I'm going to highlight this just to show you. All the way up to there, that's about where I started the, the speed change in the reverse area. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. <laughs> And it looks like that he's going back a little bit, a little slow. So because right here I did a, a changing speed and reversed, reversed it, and I made it him uh, go a little slower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Control V and I'm going to oh edit undo that because I accidentally have it highlighted. So all that right there, I just want that clip. Like that right there and I'm gonna change the speed and make it play faster and I'll show you what it looks like when it's played faster. So I'm gonna go to modify, change speed. Okay, I'm gonna change it to go from a fifty percent to a hundred and twenty percent. Now there it goes. Now it'll play a lot faster. Going backwards. Okay. I'll go like to there, and then I'll have this. Okay, show you this. And I'll have it play a lot longer on the end. This clip it's to right about there. Go to sequence. I'll go to. Let's take the motion blur off this. Let's go to K 
Okay, motion blur. We're gonna take the motion blur off this. We're gonna go to sequence. We're gonna render all. I usually do render all and I go to both so that I get everything. I don't have to worry about it. Especially if I have just a small section that I'm uh, uh, doing with. Because I only like uh, do certain sections if I like have a lot that's all highlighted red and I need to re render all the the whole video and everything and I don't want it to take too long so I try to do it that way but I usually do it in uh, in uh, all of them all at once so that it gets everything okay and uh, okay now that it's done rendering I'm going to show you what it looks like now that I change the speed to make it go faster I'm going to go to here and it comes in a lot nicer than Sony Vegas, I think. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the similar clips that are playing at the right around in here where I have the same clip. Here it goes to right there. And it's clipping again. And it's a little offbeat from the music and everything, but uh, I'm just messing around, just showing you a little bit of how to change the speed and everything. And I might not even uh, keep these uh, clips in the final version of the video. I just might change it around a little bit. But I'm just showing you how to do uh, changing speed and reversing the clip and just messing around with with that and stuff. And and how to do motion blur a little bit and another way you can get a uh, kind of a motion blur that comes with Final Cut both uh, with the Pro and the Express version is you go all the way down and you go to the time folder here in in the effects area and you go to uh, the time and, and I usually do wide time and what I'll show you what wide time is that I have it I have it right in here and I have it with this clip like right in here in the middle of this uh, section at the beginning of the video like right in here I have instead of motion blur kind of what it looks like which is I have is wide time and uh, it does pretty nice all the time effects they do a uh, pretty much similar uh, uh, effect but the one I like the most is wide time because it does a uh, really nice uh, effect it's like some mixture of the frame rates going uh, forward and then backward into each other and you can see that a little bit right in here with the car the way it it's kind of looking like it's a motion blur but it's the way the clip is is playing like like kind of faded out like playing forward a little bit from each other and then it's playing uh, like in the middle a little bit sticking out a little bit so that's why it kind of looks like a motion blur and it's a pretty nice effect and it doesn't even uh uh, uh it's not as much uh of a take enough memory on your uh, editing here as the regular motion blur does. I think it does more time when you're doing rendering uh, to see your effects. It takes a lot longer if you're using motion blur than it does when you're using the wide time or any of the time effects. So that's pretty much it in this tutorial. I hope you got what you're looking for and uh, I'll be doing a lot more uh, Apple Final Cut tutorials. I've done six tutorials here and this will be like the seventh tutorial that I've done so far here in Final Cut. And uh, I'll be doing a bunch more of other tutorials with 3D editing, and I'll do like a bunch more other tutorials with um, like uh, Adobe After Effects and stuff like that. So if you got a tutorial request, let me know. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later. And that's it.